What's up guys? In the last few videos, we've been doing all kinds of things with the 2JZ, but today we're moving past that. We're gonna do a little bit of body work, which is something kind of new to me. I've done a little bit of Bondo here and there in the past, but I've never tried to pull dents or do anything beyond just some Bondo and some sanding. So we've got some big dents um, on each side of the car here in the uh, side skirt area. Not sure if you can tell how deep that is on camera. We even have a little pinhole here, which sucks. And I wanna try to wrap the car before the next event, so here in a few days. So I wanna try to get these dents fixed as best as I can. Now I'm not a body guy by any means, but I like to do everything I can myself. I have the mindset of, I would rather do something like seven out of 10 and have it done myself, than pay somebody to have it 10 out of 10. To me, it's just so much more valuable to be able to do it myself. It's a learning experience and it's, you know, makes you feel proud that you were able to do this yourself. So I'm gonna give it a shot. At the end of the day, it's a drift car. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks good from about 20 feet away while moving, good enough for me. So to pull this dent, we're just gonna use a couple simple tools. We're gonna use some washers, a slide hammer, and a welder. So basically we're gonna weld the washer onto there like this. And then we can stick the slide hammer in the hole and we can pull and try to pull that dent out. I'm definitely not expecting perfection. I'll probably slap at least one coat of Bondo on it after I'm done. But like I said, as long as it's close, that's all that matters. So we're gonna start by sanding off all the paint so that we can weld the washers on. So we got a little spot sanded off, just big enough to weld the washer on. I forgot these side skirts actually have like undercoating sprayed on them, so probably should have used a flap disc instead of sandpaper, but it worked just fine. So we'll get the washer welded on now and start pulling it out. Okay, so you want a little more than a tack, but you don't want to weld it on all the way around. That would just be overkill, um, and you're going to have to cut it off anyway. So a tack would probably be too weak and just bust right off, so a little bit more than that. Make sure it penetrates good on both sides, and now we're going to start pulling it. Probably pulled it out just a little too much, but nothing a hammer can't fix. But I think I'm gonna have to uh, re-weld it on over here, try to pull that out a little bit more, probably once down here, and then uh, try to pull this part out a little bit as well. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but we should get it pretty close. Okay, so this one we're gonna do a little different. Instead of just welding the washer directly under the body, we're gonna weld a uh, little piece of plate metal on there and then weld the washer to that. That way we can try to pull, that way we can try to pull the whole thing all at once instead of having to put the washer in multiple places and pull it. So you can see how much of a gap there is between the fender and the uh, side skirt. So that'll give us a good indication of when we've got it pulled out far enough.
pulled it a little bit, but starting to just pull the plate out. Eh, let's keep going. Damn it. One of my tacks broke, so fix that. Needs to come out a little more right up here where my tab is not at. So I'll have to cut all this off and then maybe just weld the washer here, pull that out a little bit, and then I think it'll be close enough that we can throw some Bondo on it. All right, so it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I think uh, once we get a coat of Bondo on it, you'll never notice it. So. I'm going to call that good, get it cleaned up, and get some Bondo on it. Okay, so we got it all done. I forgot to show it before I put some paint on it, um, but oh well, you get the idea. It doesn't turn out too bad. It's definitely not perfect. But once the wrap's on it, I don't think you're really going to be able to see it. And here's this side. This is the side that was really mangled before, so definitely looking much better. I always like to say with a drift car, as long as it looks good from 20 feet away while moving, that's good enough. So this will do the trick. Now I need to uh, get the hood on, um, put some hood latches on it, and clean up all the uh, rubber marks off of it, and then get it washed so we can prep it to get wrapped. All right, so I threw a little bit of white paint on it just so that it blends in. And as you can see, it came out pretty good. You can tell I probably needed a little bit more Bondo around the hole here, and it's not perfectly smooth. But really, I mean, even looking at it close, you can't tell there was a major dent there. And from back here, you definitely can't tell there was anything there. So I'm super happy with that. It actually came out way better than I thought it would. It's definitely good enough for me, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So we're going to end this video here. i got to get the car cleaned up and ready to be wrapped, um, and then do everything else that we need to do to prep for the drift event. Super excited to finally drive this thing, so we're going to hurry up and get her done. So I hope to see you guys for the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you haven't already, hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I post a video. We're getting up there in subscribers. The channel's grown quite a bit, so I'm super happy about that. I really wanna focus on making more and better content for you guys. So make sure you stick around for that because there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming down the road. Until then, peace out.